ConstitutionalWar.org was able to obtain a video of Israel Baldera's last newscast for Fox News Charlotte. Israel reported that the proposed toll road, known as the Garden Parkway, was back in the state's transportation plan. It just so happens that Congressman Robert Pittenger owns hundreds of acres along the proposed Garden Parkway. Within about two days of Israel's coverage, the Garden Parkway was pulled from the transportation plan and Israel Balderas lost his job at Fox News Charlotte. Tell me if you've heard this before. Raleigh legislators want some kind of public project. People impacted by it say, please don't. Republican lawmakers reply with, tough, we're doing it anyway. Is it A, state takeover of Charlotte's airport, B, the Garden Parkway in Gaston County, or C, using private tolls to widen I-77? Well, actually, the answer is D, all of the above. What's driving bringing back this dead project to life is a bunch of moneyed interests who have a lot of cash on the line. Belmont City Councilman Bill Tool and other residents elected candidates who promised to stop the Garden Parkway. Our legislators who come out of Gaston County, they're fighting hard for our little guy. But business interest and Republican allies in Raleigh want the billion dollar project. The will of the majority is being disregarded. Many of us have been begging for months to have someone indicate what we have done wrong. Charlotte City Councilman Michael Barnes and his colleagues are mystified. Why would GOP legislators have the state remove a perfectly managed airport from the city? The answer? A regional authority benefits U.S. Airways and real estate developers. We really haven't done anything wrong. The issue is that we are in the way of somebody making a buck on the airport. I got involved in politics because I didn't like the government telling me what to do. Morrisville State Representative Robert Brawley bucked his Republican Party this week and came out against managed tolls on I-77 North. I have always said I represent the people and the issues. State GOP legislators argued drivers wanting a wider interstate must pay a private foreign-based company to build it. That's on top of tax dollars because Politicians insist they know better. Just because I think it's best is not something I like to be involved in. Brawley, Barnes, and Toole share a common frustration. Their voices are being ignored, and Matthew State Rep. Bill Brawley is the one doing it. He's pushing for a regional airport authority in Charlotte. He believes the Gaston Garden Parkway can stand on its merits, and the Republican lawmaker says it's tolls or nothing. So. Despite an overwhelming majority opposed to these proposals, some say the rich and the powerful will get their way. What is it that's really happening here? Ambition sometimes changes people. This is not something that's good for the state of North Carolina. The Garden Parkway was removed from Governor Pat McCrory's transportation bill today. If that legislation passes, future road projects get funding based on merit, not politics. And that's how the Garden Parkway survives. Now, the folks fighting tolls just want the same opportunity. Representative Bill Brawley says no. Robert Pittenger's wife is an owner at Fox News Charlotte, and Representative Bill Brawley seems to be up to his eyeballs and everything Parsons Brinkerhoff. We got a can of $170 million with I-77 on it. We want to turn it over to millionaires from overseas.